Welcome for another video. Today we're going to open Corset 2020 bundle. It's 10 boosters. Uh, Alt Art Foil Premium. Shine regular card. Special Giant Dice. Two reference cards. 20 basic lands, 20 foil lands, and this handy box that it comes in. We've also got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loose packs. And one, two, three, four, five, six Corset 2020 promo packs from random Friday Night Magic Wings. All right, so let's start. No. Okay. Start with the bundle here. Make fun a little bit of the idea of the of the box. The Corset 2020 card box is being noted as a feature, but I gotta say these are handy for you don't steal me. These are handy for carrying your cards around. Just taking the deck with you that you're playing. Hmm. Discover a wealth of information. It's not exactly going on the wall, but neat. And the uh, inside the box art. Handy dandy cardboard filler at the bottom. All right. Holy cow, that is a big dice. Look at that guy. Three. Not very lucky. Let me see if I can grab a. Oh, there we go. Here's a couple. There's a couple regular ones. Fair bit larger. Chandra's Regulator, alternate art foil, and 20 foil lands, 20 regular lands. Some cards. All right, so we've got our 10 packs here from, this will take, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take our six other packs. Put those on the bottom. So, top ten. I guess they look different. Yeah, these look a bit foily. All right. Nope, just kidding. One more. And the promo packs. As I say, not a lot of... Not a huge amount of value in the core set, but it's fun to draft. And it's always fun to open cards. Duress. Nothing sucks like a first turn duress. Blood soaked altar, tone bound lich, good uncommon. Chandra Acolyte of Flame, six dollar rare. Life gain land. Oh, just kidding, it's my first day. God's willing, there's a handy card. Ooh, Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer and Uncommon. There's a little six dollar uncommon for you. Who saw that who saw that coming? Embodiment of Agonies. What's that? What do we got? We got 
tokens we got non basic we got basic these packs definitely have a lot of gray to them get down to one of the old ones yeah that's uh, big difference in person I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up I feel like I have pretty good luck with bundles as compared to booster boxes. I don't know if it's safe to say over a large size. Oh, another temple. And foil common. But you know the booster box, you get three to five mythics. With a bundle, who knows? It could be anything. These could be random packs from all over the place. You're not limited by one box's distribution. Depending on where you buy, a lot of times you get cheaper pack prices than. There's a mythic. Cheaper pack prices than if you bought a booster box. We can get two minutes in a row. Nice uncommon. Uh, go to body. There you go, Blooming Shaman. Shifting Ceratops. Man, this has been. And a foil Cavalier of Night. This is what I'm talking about. Bundles. Bundles are crazy. You never know what you're going to get in a bundle. Shifting Ceratops. Foil Cavalier of Night. I mean, let's not pretend that any of these corset cards are super valuable, but we're not doing bad. How many packs is that? Count the trash on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs in. Four more till we hit the the random loose packs from Friday Night Magic. So we'll see how these top ten look compared to those. Glint Horn Buccaneer. There's a couple dollar rare. Where are they at? We can see. Yeah, we can see the difference. These, these are the end of our bundle packs. Get a little better, a little better lighting. That glare is ridiculous. Blight beetle. Golem, Woodland Champion, Night Pack, Ambusher. Can't say super valuable, but a lot of them brawler, but I mean, great cards. I don't know what the value is on it, but it's a good card. Foil, a lot brawler. I mean, common, yeah, but I can't put it in the same pile as the Foil Mythic. That just doesn't feel right. We've got too much going on here. Set our foil commons over here. Great bundle so far. Grave Diggers, Lillian Drake, Overseas Breaker. Another Chandra Acolyte of Flame. We got, yep. See, look at that. Distribution is all over the place. It's a bundle. These packs don't follow any rules. Everyone could be mythics. Pattern match. See the growth mask. Inhalation. That's a fun card. 
another embodiment of Aggies. You see what I'm talking about? Is that the same order? What if... And probably the best uncommon in the set, Foil Spectral Sailor. What if, look at this, we got Chondrak, Light of Flame, Embodiment of Agonies. That's exactly how it, what if we just got a Temple of Malady in our next pack? What if we just kept the cycle going? I would be okay with that because that means... This last pack here would have a shift in Ceratops. Let's see what we got. Thought Distortion. Renowned Weaponsmith. Scampering Scorcher. Uh, not as predictable as we thought. Leyline of Combustion, not a bad one. Last of the bundle packs. Let's see, where were these made? Under the coast. Made in USA. What do we got on here? Look at this incredibly darker packaging. Made in USA. Very different color. Kind of weirding me out. Grave Digger, Scuttle Mutt, Portal of Sanctuary, and Starfield Mystic for a last not very exciting rare. Alright, that is it for the bundle. One Mythic, one Foil Mythic, a couple $6 rares, Shifting Ceratops, 5 or 6 bucks. Veil of Summer, round six. I like it. All right. The first non bundle. Villas, Broker of Blood. I don't know, Embodiment of Agonies, but hey, Feral Abomination, Foil Common. Field of the Dead. Sell it. Sell it now. Sell it before the ban. I gotta say, I really... I find Field of, the, Field of the Dead decks to be incredibly annoying to play against, but... I don't know if it deserves a ban. I'm undecided. Bronodon, Barkai Troll, Gallons of Light, Master for Replication. And the Plains. Basic land for you. Lightning Storm can an excellent draft pick. Runner's Lockbox, Noxious Grasp. Golos Tyrus Pil Tyrus Pilgrim, one away, one pack away from a field of the dead. They are drawn to each other. Warlord Barkhide Troll. Oh, there's a foil back there. Balance of light. We've got another. We've got a third six dollar Chandra and foil heart piercer bow. Well, a bit of a letdown, but I mean it looks good. 
last of the Friday Night Magic Packs. Pattern Matcher. Easy with the rabbit there, Lenny. Vengeful Ward Chief. Flood of Tears. And no foil. All right. Now for the exciting part. Six promo packs. Saving these up for a while. Obviously, since we're now on the film is all drain. Alright, we got our land. We got our stamped land. Oh! First pack, a little alternate art. Planeswalker there. 25% chance of getting that. And we've got our stamped rare or mythic. We've got our previous Friday Night Magic fancy border card. Alright, well. Not a very valuable one, not one that I play, but I'm not turn down a alternate art. Planeswalker, Silent Gravestone, Disfigure, Sapphire's Skyblade. Not bad. Put this one down here. I guess I should open this before uh, <clears throat> before Ixalan's rotated. Elvish Clan Caller. Good looking flame sweep. And a mythic. Kalia Zenith Seeker. That's a Gigantosaurus. He'd have been a lot cooler before we rotated. That's what you get for waiting. Leyline of the Void. Two packs to go. Squee the Immortal. Forge. Final pack. Zakama, Primal Calamity. The old Corpse Knight. And the Dread Presence. Well, where are we at? Only one alternate art, but better than none. Foil Mythic, uh, another Mythic, Shifting Ceratops, three Chandra Rares, Golos, Field of the Dead, Villas, two Embodiment of Agonies, Night Pack Ambusher. Overall, I gotta say, bundle's pretty good. Packs better for drafting, promo packs, they're fun. Well, alright, not a bad bundle